Hey guys and welcome to another video. Um, so today's video is going to be slightly different from anything that I've ever done before because I'm going to be making warrior cat themed pancakes. Um, so for this I'm going to be making one for each clan living by the lake which is Shadow Clan, Wing Clan, Sky Clan, Thunder Clan and River Clan. So firstly I have to make the pancakes and I'll leave the, the recipe in the description if anyone wants to use it. Um, I'm making them weren't too difficult, I had a few failed attempts but in the end it all worked out okay. So I decided to make Shadow Clans first and I wanted to give a sort of eerie or dark sort of feel to these because the forest they live in is quite dusky and murky and Shadow Clan is also perceived as sort of the villainous clan if you like. So yeah, this is the finished piece and for this I use black currants, blackberries and blueberries and for the decoration I use holly and because Shadow Clan do live in a pine forest I tried to add a little bit of pine tree as well. And overall, I think it went quite well, and I'm, you know, yeah, I'm happy with the end result. So, yeah, on to the next one. So, the next clan I chose to do was Wing Clan, and this is probably one of the harder ones for me, because Wing Clan lives on a moor, and there's not many trees or rivers, so finding things to put on there proved to be quite difficult. However, I got there in the end, and this is the end result. So for this I use green and purple grapes and I also use kiwi fruit for a bit more green which represents the grass. I also use purple flowers to represent the heather that's probably present somewhere on their territory and the purple grapes could also represent that. And I'm happy with the finished product however I feel it's quite plain and more could be added to it but other than that I'm quite happy with it so yeah on to the next one. So I chose to do Sky Clan next, and I think I went a little bit extravagant with it, but I mean that's fine, I guess. And Sky Clan has had so many territories, um, places where they've lived over the years, so I sort of thought it'd be better to base it on its name and what it's like rather than where they live. So this is the final result, and for this one I used lemon to represent the sunrise and orange to represent the sunset. Um, and I also used grapes, just like Wing Clan, just maybe just to add a little bit more to it. I also used a couple of black currants to represent the trauma Sky Clan has gone through over the books with Dark Tell and then being banished from the forest all those moons ago when Cloudstar was their leader. It's also quite hard to see, but I did add sugar to represent clouds. And for decoration, I used yellow and green leaves because they sort of went with the colour scheme I was using, which was happy and light, but also with a hint of dreary and solemn to show that Sky Clan wasn't always where it is now. And overall, even though I went a bit overboard maybe with it, I'm, you know, I'm quite happy with it. So yeah, on to the next one. So next I chose to do Thunder Clan, and for me, this ended up to be my favourite one that I did. And I wanted a given sort of oak foresty sort of feel to it. So for that, I mainly used browns and reds. So this is the end product, and I used raspberries, red currants, and a few black currants, and also sprinkled over it is some cinnamon. I use these things to represent the forest floor where things like berries would have fallen from the trees and bushes. For decoration, I use branches to represent the trees, obviously, and also a couple of flowers to show the growth that is in a forest. As I said before, this is probably my favourite as it really has a sort of forest feel that I was going for. So last but not least is River Clan, and this out of all of them I found the trickiest as their clan is about rivers and water and there aren't really that many blue fruits, plants or even veg or sweets that I can think of that are blue, so making this is quite a challenge. However, the finished product did turn out to be alright, but I found that I could only really use blueberries and black currants for this, so everything else didn't really go into the blue colour theme. I used blue food colouring to represent rivers, and for the decoration I used white flowers, which could imitate white water lilies, and in the end they didn't really turn out too bad and went better than what I originally thought it was going to look like. So that's it and I hope you enjoyed this video. It's quite different from anything I've ever done before and if you want to see more of this sort of thing then let me know and I'll try and work on it. This is also the reason why I haven't uploaded in quite a while and I hope this sort of makes up for that. Also let me know what pancake was your favourite in the comments and you can also find images of them on my Twitter account which is linked to in the description. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video.